Welcome to Be Smart Together. I mainly focus on Power Query and Excel. If you're new, please make sure you subscribe and turn on the notification. Also, feel free to drop a comment to provide feedback, ask questions or let me know if there are any Excel, Power Query, Power Pivot or Power BI topics you're interested in. Today, I want to show you how to use Power Pivot. This video is designed for people who have yet to use Power BI or have little knowledge. Power Pivot is designed for analytical and dashboarding purposes. The data I use in this video was extracted from the Maven Data Playground's latest challenge. If you want to improve your data visualization skills, Maven is one of the best data providers, and I highly recommend that you try it out. The first thing to learn about Power Pivot is to import data. There are several ways to import data. The main example today is to import an Excel file. Go to the Power Pivot tab and click on Add to Data Model. The data is now added to the data model. You need to go to the Get External Data section to import external data. Click on From Other Sources. Scroll to the end. And then click on Excel. Browse, get the file path and tick the box to use the first row as header. Click OK to continue. Let's delete the imported data before we proceed to the next method. All tables are now deleted. Close Power Pivot. Go to the Insert tab, Pivot Table, and then click on the From Table or Range. Tick the box to import the data into Power Pivot. Here is the import. Delete the imported table, and I will show you the last import method with the Power Query connector. Go to the Data tab, Get Data, From File, and then click on the From Excel Workbook. Click on Load, and Load to. Select only Create Connection, and then you must tick the box to import it into Power Pivot. Go to the Power Query Editor, and we can use Power Query to shape the data to have clean data in Power Pivot. You should use the Power Query Profiling function to help you to understand the data. The Industry column contains sub-industry. We can split the column into two by delimiter. Use the split column function to split the column by delimiter, colon. You can rename the split column by updating it in the formula bar. Add a space after the colon. Select all the leave columns. Those columns contain text value, replace it with zero. Also, we need to update the data type to decimal. Now. Close the Power Query Editor, and then go to Power Pivot. Power Pivot has two types of calculation, implicit and explicit. Implicit means you can add a column to calculate and store the data row by row. At the bottom of the page is the area where you do the explicit calculation, known as DAX, Data Analytical Expression. For example sum if and count if. Let's add a conditional column to determine if a company offers maternity and paternity leave or only maternity, or paternity leave. Writing the implicit calculation is very similar to Excel formulas. The if, and, or syntax is the same as the Excel formula and very easy for Excel users to pick up. Quick scan the result. Copied the formula, and replace the third argument. Update it a bit, then repeat it for one more time. Update highlighted to maternity. Update the next highlighted to paternity. If all conditions are not met, return not available. This is how you write the implicit calculation. For the DAX measure, you can start with a measure name, followed by a colon and an equal sign. We can use the distinct count function to perform a unique count of the company. We have 1600 companies in the dataset. The next calculation is count if. The equivalent COUNTIF function in DAX is the CALCULATE function. We want to count the number of companies, if the paid maternity leave is offered greater than zero a week. There are 1,548 companies offering maternity leave. Let's repeat it again. Use the CALCULATE and COUNT function to count the number of companies, if the unpaid maternity leave is greater than zero. 954 companies are offering and paid maternity leave. You can also copy the measure and paste it into another cell. 
then update the measure name and update the formula. 257 companies are offering paid paternity leave. Let's repeat the copy paste of the formula and update it for the unpaid paternity leave. 50 companies are offering unpaid paternity leave. The last part of this video is exporting the result as a pivot table or pivot chart. Let's do four charts. This is how you can export the data through a pivot table or pivot chart. Here are the sample charts. I am not covering how to create charts in this video. However, I plan to participate in the Maven Analytical Challenge. I will share my submission once it is ready. Thank you for watching, and I hope you find this video helpful. Please don't forget to click like if you like the video.